Gur National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary, also known as Sasangur, is a forest and wildlife sanctuary near Talala Gur in Gujarat, India. It is located 43 kilometers (27 miles) northeast of Somnath, 65 kilometers (40 miles) southeast of Junagadh, and 60 kilometers (37 miles) southwest of Amreli. It was established in 1965 with a total area of 1412 square kilometers, 545 square miles, of which 258 square kilometers, 100 square miles is fully protected as national park and 1153 square kilometers, 445 square miles as wildlife sanctuary. It is part of the Kathiawar Gur dry deciduous forests ecoregion. In the 19th century, the rulers of Indian princely states used to invite the British colonists for hunting expeditions. At the end of the 19th century, only about a dozen Asiatic lions were left in India, all of them in the Gur forest, which was part of the Nawab of Junagadh's private hunting grounds. Today, it is the only area in Asia where Asiatic lions occur, and is considered one of the most important protected areas in Asia due to its supported species. The Gur ecosystem, with its diverse flora and fauna, is protected as a result of the efforts of the Government Forest Department, wildlife activists, and NGOs. However, faced with a drastic drop in the lion population in Gur, after British viceroys brought to his attention the plight of the lion in Asia, the sanctuary is the jewel of Gujarat's ecological resources. His son, Nawab Muhammad Mahabat Khan III later assisted in the conservation of the lions whose population had plummeted to only 20 through slaughter for trophy hunting. The 14th Asiatic Lion Census 2015 was conducted in May 2015. In 2015, the population has been 523 27% up compared to previous census in 2010. The population was 411 in 2010 and 359 in 2005. The population of lions in Junagadh district has been 268, Gursomnath district has been 44, Amreli district has been 174 highest increase, and Bhavangar district has been 37. There are 109 males, 201 females and 213 young, cubs. Geography Water reserves The seven major perennial rivers of the Gur region are Hiran, Shetranji, Daiterdi, Shingoda, Michhundri, Godavari and Ravel. The four reservoirs of the area are at four dams, one each on Hiran, Michhundri, Ravel and Shingoda rivers, including the biggest reservoir in the area, the Kamleshwar Dam, dubbed the lifeline of Gur. It is located at 21 degrees 08 08 and 70 degrees 47 minutes 48 seconds east. During peak summer, surface water for wild animals is available at about 300 water points. When drought hits the area following a poor rainfall, surface water is not available at a majority of these points, and water scarcity becomes a serious problem mainly in the eastern part of the sanctuary. Ensuring the availability of water during peak summer is one of the major tasks of the forest department staff. Topic flora More than 400 plant species were recorded in the survey of Gur Forest by Samtapau and Rizada in 1955. The Botany Department of M.S. University of Baroda has revised the count to 507 during their survey. According to the 1964 forest type classification by Champion and Sheth, the Gur Forest falls under 5A, C1A, very dry teak forest classification. Teak occurs mixed with dry deciduous species. The degradation stages DS subtypes are thus derived as 5 DS1 dry deciduous scrub forest and 5 DS1 dry savanna forests locally known as vitis. It is the largest dry deciduous forest in western India. Teak bearing areas are mainly in the eastern portion of the forest which constitutes nearly half of the total area. Several species of acacia are found. Also found here are BER, Jamun, Babul, Acacia, Flame of the Forest, Zizyphus, Tondu and DHAK. Also plants like Karanj, Umalo, AMLI, Cyrus, Kalam, Carol and an occasional Vod or Banyan tree are found. These broadleaf trees provide a cool shade and moisture content to the region. As part of the afforestation program Kajarina and Prosopis have been planted along the coast borders of Gur. 
The forest is an important biological research area with considerable scientific, educational, aesthetic and recreational values. It provides nearly 5 million kilograms of green grass by annual harvesting, which is valued approximately at Rs. 500 million, $10 million. The forest provides nearly 123,000 metric tons worth of fuel wood annually. Wildlife The count of 2,375 distinct fauna species of GER includes about 38 species of mammals, around 300 species of birds, 37 species of reptiles, and more than 2,000 species of insects. The carnivores group mainly comprises the Asiatic lion, Indian leopard, jungle cat, striped hyena, golden jackal, Indian and ruddy mongoose, and honey badger. Desert cats and rusty spotted cats occur but are rarely seen. The main herbivores of Gur are Chital, Nilgai, Sambar, Four Horned Antelope, Chinkara, and Wild Boar. Blackbucks from the surrounding area are sometimes seen in the sanctuary. Among the smaller mammals, porcupine and hare are common, but the pangolin is rare. The reptiles are represented by the mugger crocodile, Indian cobra, tortoise, and monitor lizard, which inhabit the sanctuary's bodies of water. Snakes are found in the bush and forest. Pythons are sighted at times along the stream banks. Gur has been used by the Gujarat State Forest Department which formed the Indian Crocodile Conservation Project in 1977 and released close to 1,000 marsh crocodiles into Lake Kamaleshwar and other small bodies of water in and around Gur. The plentiful avifauna population has more than 300 species of birds, most of which are resident. The scavenger group of birds has six recorded species of vultures. Some of the typical species of gur include crested serpent eagle, endangered Bonelli's eagle, crested hawk eagle, brown fish owl, Indian eagle owl, rock bush quail, Indian peafowl, brown-capped pygmy woodpecker, black-headed oriole, crested treeswift and Indian pitta. The Indian gray hornbill was not found from the last census of 2001. Asiatic lion habitat, distribution and population The Asiatic lion's habitat is dry scrub land and open deciduous forest. These lions were once found across northern Africa, southwest Asia and northern Greece. The lion population which was 411 in 2010 has increased to 523 in 2015 and all of them are in or around the Gur Forest National Park. The first modern-day count of lions was done by Mark Alexander Winter Blith, the principal of Rajkumar College, Raikat and R.S. Dharmakumar Sinji sometime between 1948 and 1963, probably early in his tenure as the principal during that period. Even though the Gur forest is well protected, there are instances of Asiatic lions being poached. They have also been poisoned for attacking livestock. Some of the other threats include floods, fires and the possibility of epidemics and natural calamities. Gur nonetheless remains the most promising long-term preserve for them. While most would see the lions as aggressive and dangerous, the lions of Gur rarely attack people. They live in a very close proximity to people, which makes their behavior different almost as if they have an acquaintanceship with the neighboring people. The lions who remember being hunted have now taken the higher road and stopped the circle of life. The lion breeding program and lion counting The lion breeding program creates and maintains breeding centers. It also carries out studies of the behavior of the Asiatic lions and also practices artificial insemination. One such center has been established in the Sakharbog Zoo at the district headquarters of Junagadh, which has successfully bred about 180 lions. 126 pure Asiatic lions have been given to zoos in India and abroad. The census of lions takes place every five years. Previously indirect methods like using pugmarks of the lion were adopted for the count. However, during the census of April 2005 which originally was scheduled for 2006, but was advanced following the reports and controversy over vanishing tigers in India. Block direct total count. Method was employed with the help of around 1,000 forest officials, experts and volunteers. It means that only those lions were counted that were spotted visually. Use of live bait 
A prey that is alive and used as a bait for the exercise, though thought to be a traditional practice, was not used this time. The reason believed to be behind this is the Gujarat High Court ruling of 2000 against such a use of animals. During the 2010 census, the cat women of Gur Forest counted more than 411 lions in the park, and 523 in 2015. The women who do the counting are of traditional Muslim tribes in neighboring villages. There are over 40 women Van Ruksha Sahayaks, who seek only to protect the animals of the park. These women have worked hard to win cooperation not just from local villagers but also from Maldharas, the semi-nomadic tribal herdsmen who live in the sanctuary. While tourist numbers are increasing people do not seem to understand the phenomena taking place. The lions are almost tame in the presence of these female guards. Gur Interpretation Zone, Diwalia Gur National Park and Sanctuary does not have a designated area for tourists. However, to reduce the tourism hazard to the wildlife and to promote nature education, an interpretation zone has been created at Diwalia within the sanctuary. Within its chained fences, it covers all habitat types and wildlife of Gur with its feeding cum living cages for the carnivores and a double gate entry system. See also Barda Wildlife Sanctuary List of National Parks and Wildlife Sanctuaries of Gujarat, India Gurner Talalagar Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary, the site for reintroducing and establishing the world's second completely separate population of the wild free-ranging Asiatic lions in the neighboring state of Madhya Pradesh In situ conservation Wildlife conservation Sadi Baradiyah